Hey, it's Manly Parks. Welcome to another episode of the Brandywine Angler. Very short clips edition. I was out on a local creek this evening and I was fishing a little three inch unweighted uh, worm. It's by Charlie Brewer, slider worm. Uh, on a little number two uh, mini extra wide cap hook. That's a rig I've had some success with in the past in these local creeks, and I wanted to try a different color that I haven't fished before. The color uh, is this kind of reddish pink color that Charlie Brewer calls earthworm. I was casting in a little pool um, and fishing a stretch of probably about 30 to 50 feet of water. I made several casts, uh, 30 or 40 casts. I had a few red breasts pick it up, but they're not big enough mouth to get the worm hook in their mouth. And I had some rock bass, uh, which do have, even the little ones have big enough mouths to pick it up, uh, show interest, in, and I hooked and landed three of those. Uh, and eventually something, probably a red breast, stole the worm off the hook. So I had to re-rig just to see what the effect would be. I re-rigged with a green pumpkin version of the exact same lure. And on the very first cast, in a place that I had made 10 or 15 casts with the earthworm colored one, the very first cast with the green pumpkin, largemouth bass. I mean, obviously... You could chalk that up to luck or coincidence, but I don't think so. I think it's all about color. I think that color in these little local southeastern Pennsylvania creeks, just based on the data that I've observed in my own experience, color is just really, really important. Uh, and no one color works every single time. There's certainly colors that are better consistently and colors that are less effective consistently. But in my experience, you do have to experiment because a color that's working one day might not really get that much attention another session. And the water conditions might not be all that different. It might be a very similar temperature range, similar clarity, you know, one week later, you go out the exact same creek, similar level, similar flow. And the color they wanted the last time, they're not that interested in and you have to figure it out. So, you know, don't overlook color in these local creeks. I certainly think that it's important to put the lure in front of fish and convince them to feed. You have to have the right size lure and you have to have the right presentation, all those things. But color is important. After that, it's trial and error to figure out what the right color is. So uh, I hope that was useful. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.